Compound angles formula application question 3. Find exact value of tan 3, 13 pi by 12. Okay, so we need to find exact value of tan 13 pi by 12. Now what is 13 pi by 12? Let's try to figure that out, right? It's always good to write them in terms of related acute angle. Now as you know, pi by 12 means this is our pi and just divide into 12 equal parts. That means each is like 1 12th, right? So there are 12 equal parts here and the 13th 12th part will land up here, correct? So that could be your 13 pi over 12, right? Where this one is actually pi over 12, correct? So there are 12 equal parts here and the 13th one lands up here in quadrant 3. Now as you know, in quadrant 3, tan is positive. So we are expecting a positive value for this. Now, if you write in terms of related acute angle or the reference angle, then I can write that 13 pi by 12 for tan is same as tan pi by 12. That is the related acute angle, right? This one, this one. This one is pi by 12. Let me write down, show here you related acute angle. So we call this angle as alpha, which is pi by 12 for us, correct? So. So we can use related acute angle to solve this. So first statement is the tan of 13 pi by 12 is actually equal to tan of pi, which is the whole pi, plus pi by 12. Is it okay? That is 13 pi by 12, right? This pi is 12 pi by 12 over 12, right? This is equal to tan of pi by 12, right? Tan is positive here. So the related acute angle of tan is pi by 12 and therefore 13 pi by 12 can be written as tan of pi by 12. So that is the first simplification we do. So remember one thing, whenever you have a reflex angle, right? In that case, it's a good idea to write it in terms of the acute angle or the reference angle and then solve the question, right? Both are the same things. So let's figure out what is tan pi by 12. So the exact value of tan pi by 12 will be same as the exact value of tan 13 pi by 12. Okay, now let's do tan pi by 12. Now tan pi by 12 can be written as tan of, tan of what? Now we know our special angles, correct? So the special angles are pi by 4, pi by 6, pi by 3. So you can write this as pi by 4 minus pi by 6, right? That gives you pi by 12, right? So you can do your maths. For example, if you want to make this common denominator as 12, what do you get? You have to multiply this by 3 and this by 2. So basically, we split this pi as 3 pi minus 2 pi divided by 12 and we get this. Do you see that? So the rough work I will show here is like this. So pi by 12 I wrote as 3 pi minus 2 pi over 12. Do you see that? So pi by 12 I wrote as 3 pi minus 2 pi over 12. Now 3 pi by 12 is simplified. You can divide both by 3 get pi by 4. And you can divide them by 2 and get pi by 6. And that is how I translate from here to there. You see that? Now, it has one additional advantage that we got difference of two angles which can form a special triangle. So let's now make our special triangle. So one special triangle is 45 degrees which is pi by 4. And this pi by 4 triangle has sides of 1, 1 and square root 2. The other one is 30, 60 and 90 degrees. And for that, let me write here as pi by 3, which is same as 60 degrees. And here is pi by 6, which is same as 30 degrees. And the sides are square root 3, 1 and 2. Now, those of you who are working in degrees, they may write this in degrees also, okay? 
Now, let's go ahead with it. Now, 10 pi by 4 minus pi by 6. Now, we don't have a formula for tan here. If I tell you, what is the tan A minus B formula? Now, tan A minus B formula, let me write it here for you in a different ink, okay? Now, tan A minus B formula is equals to tan, tan A minus tan B, I can write minus, over 1 plus tan A tan B. So that is the formula for tan A minus B. So we have tan A minus tan B divided by 1 plus tan A tan B, right? So we will use this formula to write this in terms of exact values. So we have tan A, which is tan of pi by 4, minus tan B, which is tan of pi by 6, divided by 1 plus tan A which is tan pi by 4 times tan B which is pi by 6. So that's what we get. Now what is tan pi by 4? Tan pi by 4 is 1, 1 opposite over adjacent. So we have 1 minus tan pi by 6. You have to look from here, opposite is 1 divided by square root 3. So we get 1 over square root 3 here. Now here we have 1 plus tan pi by 4 is 1 times tan pi by 6 which is 1 over square root 3. So we get this 1 minus 1 over square root 3 divided by 1 plus 1 over square root 3. So this could be simplified. Let's take square root 3 as a common denominator. So we get square root 3 minus 1 divided by square root 3. That's the numerator. Now here also this can be simplified and we get square root 3 as the common denominator and we get square root 3 plus 1. Now this can be written, these square root 3 cancel out. So we have square root 3 minus 1 divided by square root 3 plus 1. So that is our answer for tan pi by 12. But most of the time we prefer to rationalize this and write it in a different form without radical in the denominator. So, how will you do that? So, let's do that now. Square root 3 minus 1 divided by square root 3 plus 1. Rationalize means multiplying and dividing by conjugate of denominator this, which is square root 3 minus 1 divided by square root 3 minus 1. So, we get this is a minus b whole square. So, we get 3 minus 2 times square root 3 plus 1 in the numerator and here a plus b times a minus b is a square minus b square that means 3 minus 1 and 3 minus 1 is 2 so let's write 2 here and the numerator 3 plus 1 is 4 we get 4 minus 2 square root 3 now this both can be divided so we get 2 minus square root 3 as our answer right so that is the simplified exact answer for tan 13 pi by 12 and therefore we say well tan 13 pi by 12 is equal to 2 minus square root 3. So I hope uh, you understand what we have done. So we have taken up this example with tan. Uh, so first two were with cos of a plus b, the second was with cos of a minus b and now we have tan 13 pi by 12, right? I will appreciate if you could do one with tan yourself and uh, well do try this tan of 75 degrees right or tan of 15 degrees on your own right 75 degrees or 15 degrees correct and use this formula tan a minus tan b 1 plus tan a tan b follow these steps and try it yourself correct you don't even have to do the first part i've given you acute angles already okay try it out and then let me know if you can do it thank you